Welcome to Pureed Foods 101. The purpose of this class is to help demonstrate how to make pureed foods at home for the post-op diet. Remember, the purpose of the pureed diet is to help train your pouch and ease your body into real foods. It will also allow for proper healing after surgery. All foods need to be strictly pureed to an applesauce-like consistency. The puree diet is a necessary step in the diet progression. Advancing your diet too soon may result in pain, pressure, or vomiting. We recommend starting slow. Initially, you'll be taking dime-sized bites and aiming for one to two tablespoons per meal. Whatever you can't finish in 20 minutes, you'll simply save for your next meal or snack or discard. In time, you'll be able to work your way up to four tablespoons per meal or a quarter cup. We recommend creating a daily schedule and setting meal and snack alarms to remind you to eat. You will still stick with your eating schedule of every three to four hours. A sample schedule might include two small pureed meals a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, with your protein shakes around scheduled meal times. Some patients are able to tolerate more volume before four weeks, and that's okay. Everyone's pouch is a little different. Stick with small portions until seeing your dietitian. Hydration is extremely important after surgery. Once you start purees, you will go back to separating liquids from meals, as you've been practicing all along. Explore options for fluids and recognize it may be a challenge to get everything in. Know the signs of dehydration, which include headache, nausea, and dark urine. You may need to be creative with exploring options to reach your fluid goal. Always carry a water bottle with you. Set a timer to prompt you to drink. Keep a log to track your fluid intake. Or use a smartphone app. Accountability is key. Vitamins are also extremely important to take after surgery. If you are tolerating your pureed foods, chances are you'll also be tolerating your chewable vitamins. We do recommend taking vitamins with food in divided doses throughout the day. We encourage you to experiment with pureeing protein-rich foods. Keep an open mind and know that pureed meats may take on an unfamiliar texture at first. Rest assured, it will still taste like meat. Also, consuming nutritious pureed foods will feel satisfying after being on a liquid diet for four weeks. And remember, your options for spices and seasonings are unlimited. Options such as soups, stews, and casseroles are all okay to blend as long as they don't contain any rice, pasta, or noodles. Strained soups are also acceptable as long as you blend in a protein food such as chicken or tuna fish. If you are not able to tolerate meats, we encourage you to experiment with fish, eggs, or beans. It's okay to include carbohydrate-rich foods such as applesauce or thinned mashed potatoes as long as you are consuming three protein shakes a day. You may consider adding protein powder to your pureed foods to optimize protein content. If you don't own a blender or food processor or can't afford one, we recommend sticking to foods that are naturally pureed. Keep in mind, foods such as scrambled eggs and cottage cheese will be too much texture for your new pouch to handle, and pureeing in the mouth does not count. So some examples of naturally pureed food include unsweetened applesauce, cream of wheat or cream of rice cereal, yogurt without chunks, ricotta cheese, pudding, smooth nut butters, thinned mashed potatoes and squash, and refried beans. If these options don't work for you, you may consider purchasing stage one baby food. Be sure to start with dime-sized bites and go slow we recommend to add protein powder to pureed foods, even if it's a small amount. It's important to talk to your dietitian and explore the best options for you.